Hello everyone, I am Milan Kranti, fourth year BTEC student as a part of Medical Image course project. In this tutorial, today I am giving demo of uh, image registration with 3D slicer. So, I, I taken data from their own website. If you go through, then you will see here slicer doc training and you will go in slicer training then you will find here registration here 3d slicer registration data and also in this tutorial he is giving a tutorial one tutorial for registration tutorial this is this this is a very good tutorial for beginners so registration is a one method from there we uh, bring different image database into one alignment firstly we can see before image registration two data is like that and after image registration we can see so basically by image registration uh, uh, we uh, uh, transform one image to other for the same alignment of the image now now let's come into their own uh, 3d slicer software now I'm using the 4.10.2 uh, sliders for uh, loading the data. We can use air data. Uh, here we can see choose the uh, directory to add. So my file uh, is on. Yes, if you will download um, the data uh, given uh, sites, then uh, it's a zip file. Then after unzipped, you will get registration data. And you will see here the two file. One is registration A, a subject B, subject A, subject B. Both are two different images. And I am picking one uh, uh, image in this. Uh, subject is will have uh, two yeah let's two volume let's uh, choose that and you will see here uh, a fair subject a t1 t2 and uh, firstly we have uh, firstly see here we can see the suggestion Axial, let's firstly we can see the what's the in both the registration, both transformation are different or not. For that, we can go here and choose this and type here one subject 81, subject 82. If here we can see the subject T1 um, is in the foreground and uh, subject T2 um, is in the background and uh, we are only uh, showing subject T2 but if we'll increase the then we can see here a 0.5 percent 50 percent also uh, in this uh, foreground and backgrounds let's then we can see the difference between both say this is the 82 if we will increase this is the 881 means both are not in same alignments so we have to do uh, for this in same alignment 
for this firstly uh, here we can see both so firstly go to in registration here general registration and in general registration fixed image let's uh, take fixed image as a subject t1 and moving image let's t2 and percentage sim samples let's main same and we want to only a linear transformation this this data can work in also in linear transform but uh, as per data we can use the bs uh, bsp line transform yeah, other transform also for let's choose the create new linear transform uh, let's put uh, name as a we want that here here is the fixed image is t1 and moving image t2 means we are rotating your yeah, transform t2 to t1 so put name like which t1 to t1 okay and uh, here we are using central of head lines as per uh, data we can use any but i search in this uh, data set work well on this and also we are using uh, registration phase this is the many phase you are using a fine transform and rigid and uh, nothing all it is same and put the apply it will take some time to running and this uh, after that wait for some time so also uh, we load the data from uh, here if we want to load the data we can directly drag drop also we can do directly we can drag or drop the data from our directory and also sometime and here we can see this in is the four up table so sometime is also like here we can change the all like we want and uh, also if we want to see the 3d uh, we can go and here we can click toggle slide visibility in 3d view if we will do we can see the 3d view of this So here we can see that this is the 100% completed. So if we want to see the uh, transformation final image, so we have to click on this. After that, go in transform. Okay, and here we can see our name slicer linear transform t2 to t1. Here we will see this. After this. Uh, we will do hardened transform after that it will automatically uh, transform that subject as a t1 after that if we will see the mm, uh, here if we will see so we can see here it's already put it in uh, in same alignments in previous time if we did like that we say they are not in a 
uh, same alignment so that's and also we can do this also if we want to some small so if we again check we can see all they are in same alignments so by this with the help of uh, this registration module general registration by changing the uh, some tons output setting and uh, transform listen agencing settings registration page check we can alignment uh, the two different uh, images in same alignments so thank you